five things that I would switch about the Switch. I actually had a lot of trouble coming up with this list because I'm kind of really excited about the Switch and there's not anything that I would personally change, but if I was to get nitpicky, there are a few things that Nintendo probably could have done better. So let's talk about five things that I would switch about the Switch. First up, we have what is probably the biggest drawback for me and for the system is that it's only 32 gigs. And I know they got away with that with the Wii U and that was enough because everything ran off the disc, you didn't need to install everything, but we are heading into a new age. We're heading into, you know, 2017 where people are preferring digital games. And especially with this system pushing digital games on release, games like I Am Setsuna, Nintendo would want its consumers to use that as a viable option to download as many games as they as they see fit as they want and if you're running out of space all the time 32 gigs is nothing my playstation 4 comes with 500 gigs and even just with the download titles i download i keep maxing out my gigs and have to keep deleting stuff i don't want to have to go through that with a nintendo system with 32 gigs and while i personally aren't primarily a digital gamer it's still limiting it's still limiting to what you can do and it definitely lowers your options so it becomes something where even if i wanted to move into that i know it's not an option with the switch and yes I can extend the memory using SD cards but that's not really practical in 2017 that's not really something that we should be having to do a system nowadays I really feel like should come with at least half a terabyte but if not more than 32 gigs that's something I would change and this is one of those things that might drive the price up on the system just like a few other things on this list, but at what point does it that become worth it? I personally think the price point is pretty cheap and definitely worth it for the system. So spending a little bit more to get a little bit more, even having an option, having another console option that has more gigs, a separate option that I can buy, spend an extra 20, 30, 50 bucks to get a terabyte or half a terabyte, I would be willing to do that personally. I would switch the battery life on the, on the tablet. Apparently you can run Zelda for about three hours on it, which ain't bad, but when you're marketing this system as something that you can take on the go, I definitely want it to last for more than three hours. Cause sure, if I was heading out, if I was to go out and take my system with me, say if I was going on the bus to go to a friend's house or go down to work, usually my bus rides are at least half an hour to an hour. And then, you know, wherever I'm going, I might want to play it while I'm there at like doctor's office or something like that. So generally about three hours is probably how long I'm going to be out of the house. So I would need to make sure that my system is charged up fully before I left. Otherwise, it's probably gonna die while I'm out. And when the system is so hardly being marketed towards that portability, that doesn't really bode well for the portability. It's not something I wanna risk taking out of my house. It's something that already, it's such an expensive piece of equipment, such a nice piece of equipment with no cover, no case for it, which granted I can buy something aftermarket or buy something to, to take care of it, but I'm already hesitant to take it out of the house just because I don't wanna damage it. And when that's such a key feature of it, take it out of the house, and I realize I haven't charged my tablet, I'm not taking it with me just in case it dies. And that's something that doesn't bode well for that whole side of the system. So I think extra battery life is definitely something that I would like, but again, the tablet's really thin. They've tried to reduce costs on this so I, I can get why the battery life isn't as good as I would like it to be, but my Wii, my Wii U pad was dying all the time too. It was, I felt like the Wii U pad was always dying and that wasn't something that was portable, so. Now this one is arguably the most nitpicky out of any of them, but I don't like the name. It's not a bad name and it makes sense with the whole theme of the console, which is switching the controllers all the time. But for the last three years, maybe two, we knew it as the Nintendo NX. And that's how I grew to love the system and love the possibilities that lied in the NX was that name. And it was something so cool. It was NX, it was like next, it was like the next step. But instead we have Switch, which Whenever I think of Switch, honestly, I think of Will Smith's song, Switch, which as much as I actually do like that song, it's not really what I want to think about when I think of the next system. I want to think of NX. It was really cool and a really badass title. Of course, whatever you call a system doesn't matter. They could call it something ridiculous like the Wii or the Wii U and I would still go out and buy it. So that doesn't matter, but if I could change something, I would switch the name up and I would switch it to back to 
NX. Pack-in game. Now, the reason why I think this, I've said it before, but I think a system like this, the Switch and a Nintendo gimmicky system, always needs a pack-in game because of the gimmicks. It gets you used to the gameplay. I don't want to have to go out and spend 60 bucks on a game, which is essentially is an introduction to the system type game. I would rather get that packaged in. I'd rather spend an extra 10, 20 bucks and get a doled down version of 1-2 Switch than feel like I have to go out and buy. I, I, I don't see myself buying 1-2 Switch for full retail. I just don't. It doesn't seem like it holds enough value and entertainment for me to warrant spending money on this, but I could spend it on something else. I could spend it on something on a different system even, rather than buy this game, which really should have been a pack-in game. And if not one to switch, something, anything, a small mini game to get me used to the new controls, to get me used to the new system. Nintendo's really gimmicky. It's not like when you buy a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and you know exactly what you're getting into. You have a controller, you just gotta learn how to play the game. Right now, I'm, I'm excited to learn how to play the Switch, what goes into learning and playing a Switch system. But I don't wanna have to learn that while learning how to play a new Zelda for the first time. I'd rather just have that taken care of for me. But I don't know, maybe that is asking too much. Maybe that would drive the price up a little bit on the system and they were obviously trying to keep the price down. But I personally have always really liked getting a pack-in game with my system. Now on this last one, I feel like I'm definitely scraping the bottom of the barrel. As I said, trying to find, I'm being really nitpicky. I am really excited for the Switch and I probably wouldn't change anything unless someone said, hey, we are changing something. What do you want it to be? And I might pick one of these things. So this is definitely me getting down to the bottom of the barrel, but the launch games aren't great. And that is something that I've defended on this channel. We're saying that they are pretty great compared to the Wii U. But end of the day, it's Zelda, which we've waited for for way too long. It's coming out on the Wii U as well. And the only thing that I'm really excited for other than that is Bomberman, which I have to pay full retail for. And while it looks like a lot of fun, it just also just kind of looked like an upgraded version of the Bomberman games that we all know and love and have played for years. I don't feel like that should be a full priced game, but it is. And while I'm excited for it, it's not something that I'm... If it, if it wasn't for Zelda, I wouldn't be getting this on launch day. I could use a WarioWare instead of 1-2 Switch. I could use something to make it just a little bit more worth it, to make this launch, this launch a little bit more memorable, have a little bit more impact, but it is what it is. I'm still gonna pick it up. I'm still happy with the launch games, but if I could change something, I would like one extra game. If, if And this is like me being unrealistic, and I realize that, but if it was coming out with a Metroid Prime, as well as everything else that's coming out now and in the first year. I mean, wow, I would switch that. That'd be incredible. That'd be that'd be a launch to remember. But that is five things that I would switch about the Switch if I was being very nitpicky. I am still really excited and we are only like a week away from this thing right now. So I am just completely and totally hyped up to get this on launch day. Let me know down below what you would switch about the Switch and also how pumped are you right now to pick up the Switch or not pumped and let me know why not down below. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm just really loving making videos about the Switch right now because I could talk about the Switch all damn day. I am excited. So we are now getting dangerously close to the release of the Switch and with only about a week or two to go, it's time to start asking some questions like what games do we want to see on the Switch throughout its lifespan? And there are three games that I wanted to get out of the Wii U that I didn't get and I'm hoping to see them on the Switch. So today, we're going to talk about those games. I apologize for being on a farm as well, by the way. I'm currently staying in Texas with my girlfriend. The lighting is kind of awful because if I stand under the direct sunlight, I'll probably burn. I've been living in Canada for about six months and I'm completely pale. But Dr. Pepper in hand, let's get started. First game that I want to see, and this is something that I have talked about on my channel plenty, plenty of times, is a new Pokemon game for a system, for a, not a handheld, a Pokemon game for a big system. The way that I always envisioned this game going down was the Wii U was perfect for it. What, like every time we get a new game, like we get like a new Skyrim or we get a GDA or we get this Ark game that just came out, what's the first thing that everyone tries to mod? What's the first thing that everyone seems to get drawn to? It's putting Pokemon in these games. It's to have a game like Skyrim, like The Witcher, where you go around. <laughs> 